I'm Neha Choksi. Uh, I was invited by Stephanie to do a work for the Sydney Biennale and um, I already had this piece in mind but I didn't have the means to realize it so um, I proposed this. Um, it's called The Sun's Rehearsal. It's an installation um, with seven layered photographs on a wall and then one digitally produced sort of a Hollywood company called Omnicosm Studios that specializes in astrophysical images made the last image that's on top of the wall. The Sun's Rehearsal is the wall installation and then there's a dance component that I worked with a dance artist and collaborator Alice Cummins to produce and it's called In Memory of the Last Sunset because essentially the work is about the moment where you experience personally the last sunset or collectively as humanity we experience the last sunset because we're basically cooking ourselves to death um, or the sun has run out and it's warming us all. So it was kind of trying to get to that sort of futurity, this idea of remembering something that we could actually never remember because the last final sunset, the final fatal sunset would mean we would die and that would also mean we would no longer have memory. So it's a way to create a future memory. Um, so that was kind of where the pro project started from. I think the first um, time was around 2007. I worked on a play with a, an Indian director, Rehan Engineer, who was doing a version of Samuel Beckett's That Time. And I worked with suns and sun, setting suns and multiple setting suns and repetitions of setting suns, except it was exactly the same sunset, the same clip, repeated several times on different devices. But that was kind of the opening up where I sort of linked memory and time and the sun. And then for this piece, I added the layer of aging. So I wanted to work with a feminist female dancer who no longer is able to reproduce. And I was interested in some in dance because it's um, much like a sunset that's repeated over time and builds up in memory. A dancer repeats movements and builds that sort of body memory in their body. And it's a matter of like, as you get older, there's incredible body memory, even if your body's not able to do everything that it could when you were 20. So I kind of wanted to work with that and bring in the sense of repetition uh, and aging uh, to, to link all those two together in this work. When I first m interviewed her over Skype, I was looking for a dancer. A lot of people in the dance community suggested I work with Alice and um, I just fell in love with her process of thinking and the fact that she had this personal relationship with a final sunset with her own mother that she'd experienced, uh, which we built into the piece. So there's a sequence where um, Alice feels tethered at the very beginning, tethered to the wall and is sort of being drawn to the wall. And that was sort of our germination, our, our sort of entry point into figuring out her relationship with her own body and with the wall as a body, as a barrier and as well as a portal because it's got this hollow with curtains on it so it's it's a barrier but it's also a portal it's something that the body has to engage with so um, that was our entry point and then we just sort of built it up from there we always knew because that I always knew that there were many layers on the wallpaper that have to be peeled over the course of the performances so that was always going to be part of the piece I'm interested in the sort of wall becoming a peeling ruin of itself. And so I'm hoping by the end of the Biennale that the wall is, is more um, revelatory of the past as well as pointing to the future, the future of death, I guess.